welcome. So, this set of uh, lectures are regarding Moodle which is a learning management software that a teacher can use uh, and it is a very valuable tool which helps a lot in communicating with the students especially when uh, we are out of the classroom. So, using this uh, interface we can upload for example, course notes, um, course slides, we can upload assignments, we can actually take quizzes, the students can upload their assignments which can themselves be graded. We can have a discussion forum where we put up a fresh notice or we bring up some new topic that needs addressal which we could not do it in the classroom and the students can respond to it. Um, it can have a log of the most recent activities, it can keep warning the students about upcoming assignments. Basically, it is a community and it is a community which would be restricted to the students in your course and it helps a lot uh, to interact with the students when we are not in the classroom. So, uh, as a teacher I would show you what we can do with Moodle and um, also what the students would probably see when they are interacting with Moodle. Uh, I would not be discussing as much as what an administrator can do. Normally, the Moodle would have to be run on a server and there would be an administrator who would actually start a course and enroll the teacher and students on it. The teacher would have of course, far different capabilities. The teacher can enroll students and look at a lot about course administrations, hide and unhide things and the students will see a few things regarding the assignments, regarding discussion forums, etcetera. So, from a teacher's point of view, I will show what you can do with Moodle and I am not an expert at Moodle, but I will show you how it can be reasonably useful to someone. You can also hold office hours for example, uh, you know office hours are something where you would normally meet students during a fixed time in your office, but in this case uh, you can hold it sitting in your office and the students are in their hostel rooms or they may be somewhere else too and it is a live chat room that you can have. Similarly, you can hold quizzes, um, the quizzes you can set timings for it, you can set the number of attempts for it, you can have the quizzes in the classrooms if there is a good Wi-Fi connection or if everyone has a computer or the students can do in the luxury of their hostel rooms or wherever they are, they can take the quiz during the specified amount of time. So, what I would do uh, is try and start uh, accessing my Moodle on the IIT Bombay website and you will see the courses that I have already been enrolled into by the administrators and in each course the interface would look slightly different depending on how we are managing. Some courses are lab courses, some courses are uh, courses where I would upload a lot of assignments some courses need lot of discussion forums. So, I will just log into my Moodle and you will um, understand how this is a reasonably easy thing to pick up and hopefully all of you would start using this. So, let me just go to the IIT Bombay Moodle site and start logging in. So, this is the Moodle site which is kept by the uh, IIT Bombay server and you will see this is our latest version and there is a link here to the Moodle versions which were available earlier in 2012, 2011 and 2009 and my older courses are all listed here. The current Moodle site uh, has the latest courses that um, I was an instructor to and um, you will realize that I will need to log in using my user name. So, that is my user name now and um, most sites on IIT Bombay websites are accessible using the LDAP password which is common across the email server and uh, the academic website as well as the Moodle website they all use the LDAP server to authenticate. Now, once I log in immediately I can see the courses that I was an instructor to in the most recent two semesters. 
For example, I was an instructor to four sections of drawing which are listed here. Then I was an instructor on thermodynamics, I was an instructor on the heat transfer and metrology lab and this is a common interface for the entire drawing course which we were actually often using rather than the section wise uh, interface. So, these section wise in interfaces once I click in would have only those students who are in that particular section. So, if I had to interact only with them then this would have been useful. However, we were interacting with them on a common interface which is this one. I was inter, uh, also an instructor on some other labs which are here and then these are courses that I was an instructor on in the previous semester that is the computational methods in thermal and fluids engineering as well as this other uh, technology design course where you would realize that I was an instructor with not too many permissions. So, we will talk about permissions what kind of permissions an instructor has once he or she logs in. So, let me first take you to uh, a course where I was the sole instructor which is the thermodynamics minor course and once I click on it you will see what kind of interactions you can come up with. Now, we, though we will talk about this later you will see that there are a few blocks here. There is a block here on the left for administration, there is a calendar block here, there is a block for search, there is a block for latest news, there is a block for upcoming events. This is especially useful for students, there is a block for navigation. Now, you will notice that I have actually shifted these blocks if I show you some other course sites and there is a block for recent activities. And in the middle you will realize that the course is available as a set of weeks. So, this is the week from 4th to 10th January, then the next week and so on and in each of these I have uploaded what was happening in that week. For example, on which day I was doing what. So, I will take you through how to um, actually edit these things and you will notice that I have put on handouts, I have put on exercise sheets. And similarly, I will show you other places where I would have uh, uh, put on uh, assignments, I will show you how to handle quizzes. And then normally, if there are any announcements, I would use this block to add a new topic here and start a conversation, which means I will tell the students that there is an upcoming quiz and I expect them with a certain set of uh, books or steam tables or calculators there and I will put up the rules, I will mention whether it is open book or closed book. In general, I will give a lot of instructions. Similarly, if there is something that needs to be done that I could not announce in class, I can just announce it here and it gets broadcast to the entire class. So, how do we use each of these blocks as well as how do we edit any of these information that is present here, that is what I will take up in the next set of lectures. Thank you.